welcome to my channel in today's video I'm gonna take you along with how I do my nails so the first thing I do is push back my cuticles using a metal cuticle pusher you can also use a wood one if you want it to be a little bit more gentle on your nails also use the mandrel bit to shorten my nails and further push my cuticles back since I do my nails so often I usually find that I don't have that much of cuticle growth so I don't really focus on pushing it back too much as the mandrel bit can do the work for me. I am just taking the mandrel bit to take off the natural shine off of my nails just to rough it up a little bit and get it prepped for the acrylic application. I am not filing too excessively because I don't want to cause any damage to my nails. As you can see I also shorten them up using the mandrel bit. It does a nice job of just you know shortening them up evenly. I then go on with a cuticle ball bit. This is to again further get into more of the tighter spaces that the mandrel bit could not get into. If you're interested in any of these bits that I am using, I have a video up of explaining all of my favorite nail drill bits that I like to use when I am doing my nails and in that one I go in details for all of the drill bits that I use. I just like to take a manicure brush with some alcohol on it to wipe away all of the dust that is on my nails from the prep work and the filing and all and then I will get into cutting my cuticles. Now this cuticle nipper is from a local beauty supply store. You can obviously use whichever ones you have. Just make sure that they are really sharp because that will help make the process so much easier. I usually have my nails done quite often so I usually don't get too much of cuticle growth but I do get some here and there which I just like to nip off. I used to be super scared of using these nippers but as I got more practice I'm a lot more comfortable using them. I'm not the greatest at them but I definitely do see a difference from when I first started till now. I'm just going to go ahead and size my tips and put them onto my nails, making sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall. After I am done with all of the tips, I do go ahead and cut and shape them off camera just because I do want to dedicate a whole video on shaping, so I just skipped it in this video. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in again with my mandrel bit and blend in my tips to my natural nails and make sure that they are nice and blended. Once again going to take my alcohol on my manicure brush this time making sure that it is thoroughly cleaned because this is going to act as a dehydrator for my um, acrylic application right after I'm going to use the CND nail primer for my primer and I'm going to be using the Kiara Sky cover acrylic in pale pink for my base so I'm just going to start off with my nail primer and for this nail primer I do like to use two coats. Um, I usually do this with all the primers I use, be it the Young Nails Primer or the No Lip Primer. I do like to do two coats of it just to make sure that it is nicely primed, making sure that this does not get onto your skin because it is meant just for your natural nail. Please bear with me as this is my first 
the video of me recording myself doing my nails so I probably don't have the angles and all down it's just so difficult to record a video of this sort and have myself be in frame and have it focused so I did struggle a lot with the camera usually I'm not this sloppy but because of all of those factors it does look a little bit sloppy I generally use the three bead method, but I am not too strict on using just three beads if I do need to add a bit more in order to get the apex right or just the structure or thickness right, I do use more, but typically it is three beads. So I will just leave you to watch me put on my acrylic onto my nails. Um, and then I will come back for the design later on in the video. My camera does die towards the end, so unfortunately I wasn't able to record the whole entire design process, but I do have some clips in here, so if you're interested, please watch until the end. If you are already not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. I am super excited that I'm almost to a thousand subscribers and I cannot wait to hopefully I do a giveaway then so please do hit the subscribe button also leave me a comment down below of any ideas you have that you want me to film So these are my nails shaped and filed. Um, I went for a coffin shape. I haven't done a coffin in a long time. I usually go for tapered square now, but I just wanted to go back to the basics and do a coffin once again. So for this design, I am going to be using a white gel paint. This is from Helen. Um, she's a really famous nail tech located in Canada and her gel paints are literally everything. It has stepped up the game and the good thing is you don't have to be certified in order to get these. You just need to go to her Instagram, DM her and you can get a whole set. Um, super pigmented and it's totally worth it. So in this design I decided to do a v-cut French I just wanted to do something really simple so I am going to be using a short brush that I'm showing here but I ended up not using this one that much I, I actually used um, 
the other one that I'm going to show a lot more just because it was a longer striper brush so I do recommend when you want to do the recut French in gel to use a long striping brush uh, it just makes it a lot easier and it just helps the lines be a lot cleaner so how I do this is I mark the middle first just by using that, just by placing that dot right there and then I just connect two lines in a V shape and this just helps me get it perfect every time and just makes it centered every time. So after I have all of the outlines, I do go ahead and fill it in with a slanted brush and this is the time that my camera dies on me. So after I did that, I just added another thin line on my ring finger, which you will see in the end of pictures, and I just added a pearl just to finish it off. And that is all for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this, please let me know, and please do not forget to subscribe. Bye!